What's up guys, it's your boy XC1 back at it again with another banger of a video. In this one, I'm going to do a little follow-up video to my previous trial video. I'll uh, give you a couple more strategy and tips. I'm not going to make it a big, super long video, but uh, yeah, just give you a couple more tips, uh, some pointers, maybe a little bit from the last video, which will be linked or in-carded in the description. Give that one a go. It also has a bunch of tips in it as well. Let's jump into it. Now, here's just going to be the team that's going to be in the fight sequence of part of this video, but uh, you do need to use a Leon, uh, whether it's the trial or your own summoned one, uh, but the trial one has maxed out the ability, uh, and here's your stats for that, and also Everett's pretty much required. I wouldn't say he's nece uh, necessary in all teams, but uh, just the ones that I'm going to show, or have been showing, and here's my stats for him. Uh, he doesn't need speed, that's just how it worked out, plus 7 speed, whatever. But uh, you want to put a mu as much crit rate and crit damage and HP as possible. Uh, obviously more crit rate here would be really good, um, because if he does end up not critting, that's, you know, points that are um, not added to the score, 3.8 mil. And I know a lot of people are getting really close, like 3.75 mil, etc, etc. So uh, up that crit rate, it really does make a difference when you're, you know, hemorrhaging points, you need the points. Same here. Uh, Young Chuan crit rate's really good on him. Here's just the stats basis. Uh, it's not really about uh, Young Chuan or Brewster here, but I will show them. Here's the stats for them. Uh, Brewster does give crit rate up to the team. I forgot about that uh, momentarily. But uh, yes, he does give crit rate up to the team for two turns. So you can get by by that, but you do want more crit rate. So if the crit rate up buff does lapse on those espers, you know, you're not hemorrhaging points like I can say again. But uh, obviously here I'm going to dive into why Jacob is the bread and butter for any comp you want to squeeze him into. Maybe uh, you can't get to the threshold. And here's the reason why this video is being made. Intoxification is Jacob's S2 grants Fangs, which is his team-wide buff, to all allies for two turns. While Fangs is active, taking a hit has a 70% chance of inflicting poison on attackers for two turns. Now obviously combined with the boss's multi-hit capabilities, this buff Fangs will inflict a lot of poison and combined with the enchanted set grants a 30 percent chance of extending the poison and bleed debuffs inflicted by one turn yes it does work you will see in the video itself i have not seen the enchanted buff uh symbol you know how astral or tyranny or you know ocean procs and you see that blue i have not seen the enchanted version of that until this uh until i tried this out uh jacob is vanilla's idea the enchanted was you know something i cooked up just because I knew I had these speed rolls from I don't know why. But uh, yeah, here's Jacob's stats. Obviously, you want higher accuracy, the uh, better. 100 accuracy is good. You don't need 30% C damage. The speed's good. HP and defense, good. Attack is whatever. You just want accuracy and ocean wave so he can cycle his S2. And uh, for previous <laughs> reasons mentioned, 